Alrighty, what's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan in case anybody is new here. And just going to kind of jump into it here for you guys. Uh, I don't want to make too long of a video. I already kind of missed the deadline, uh, for lack of a better word. As you guys can see here, the time it's already 10-18 uh, my time. So we already lost like the profit side of it where you get to kind of see it. But I still wanted to make the video of it just to kind of check in with you guys. The year is coming to an end and uh, this might be the last trade that I do for the year. So, I mean, the way I see it is the market is closed on Friday. So that means Thursday is my new Friday. And I don't like to trade on Fridays, so that means tomorrow is Wednesday. So I might trade tomorrow, I might not, but I probably won't trade Thursday. So I uh, just wanted to kind of do one little tra uh, trade recap, just check in, kind of, you know, hey, how you doing for you guys? Kind of, you know, end the year on a good note, if you will. So anyways, um, we had a $1,960 profit on this trade. Uh, again, I mentioned it kind of reset already on the day because I missed the timeline. Uh, but just kind of showing you guys here. Uh, but I set it back a few days to kind of show you guys. And anyways, you can see it's still here on today. So anyways, jumping into it here, we were trading shares. It was a shares trade and it was a day trade here as well. But if I needed to hold the trade overnight, I would have. It would have been okay to hold it as a swing trade. Um, and I don't want to spend too much time talking about, oh, this and oh, that. I just want to kind of just quick little trade recap. All my other recent videos have been long, like 10 minute long videos. So we'll see if we can make this like a five minute one like I used to back in the day, you know, just a quick little Hey, how you doing? And then that's pretty much that. So anyways, uh, we, I had 1,000 shares. It was a very simple trade here. Just, you know, one in, one out, and that was kind of it. So 1,000 shares. I got in it at 8.07, and I was out by 12.44. So I wasn't in it right exactly out of the open, but, you know, about an hour and a half out of the open is when I got into the trade. So, you know, for example, like for anyone that might be working, you know, you hop in it on a break, hop in it on your lunch, hop out of it on your lunch break, you're cool, good to go. Um, but anyways, that's besides the fact. So 807, I was in it. 1244, I was out of it. I had 1,000 shares. I got in at 3710. I was mainly watching this trade around the 3750 area. That's uh, what I had it on on our watch list was to get in around the 3750. Uh, I kind of saw it chopping around it a little bit before I wanted to get in, so I was able to catch it at a little bit of a better entry there. So I caught it at 3710, and I was out almost exactly two dollars later at 39.10 but not quite it was 39.06 so that's a dollar and 96 cents per share profit we had a thousand shares so you do the math there 196 times you know um 1000 shares that's 1960 dollar profit that we did there and then just jumping over to it on the chart for you guys here this is right where i got into it so like i said i was watching it around the 3750 area um, I didn't really catch it right there in the morning part, but once I caught, kind of saw it snapping back and kind of flirting with that area, getting above it there a little bit, and it wasn't kind of just dramatically dropping back down. I was kind of spending some time there, uh, right here is where I was kind of trying to catch the entry. And I said, all right, let me get a little bit of better fill. And I said, all right, cool. Let me go ahead and put my order right there. That's where I got in it at the 3710, uh, right at the 807 area on the time. And it went a little bit lower but nothing too crazy. My stop on it was 36. So I had about a $1, $1.50 uh, risk, if you will. And, you know, it didn't really do much throughout the day. It kind of chopped, kind of lingered, kind of popped up a little bit. And then it started ramping up into the close for like, a, well, not into the close, but maybe about an hour, hour and a half before the close. Uh, it kind of started shooting up there. And my primary profit target on this trade was 40 so I was in it at the 37.50, gotten out 40. So $2.50 reward for a dollar, dollar fifty cent risk. Um, yeah. So, anyways, what had happened is I pretty much considered this getting to the 40 area. And while I didn't necessarily close out the trade, I raised my stop to the 39 area. And from there. Well, obviously it hit the stop. You know, let me zoom in for you guys here. Uh, it kind of just dropped right below it here at the 1241. And by the time like I was able to pull out my phone, put in the orders and everything, I was trying to see if we kind of you know, got a little bit of a snapback and it kind of looked like it was getting a little bit weaker there. So that's where I went ahead and I placed my closing order, 1,000 shares, 39.06. And that was locking it in for $1.96 per share, 1,960 cents. Uh, I'm sorry, 1,960 cents. $1,960. 
Um, and that's pretty much that, guys. You know, nothing too crazy on it. Um, I didn't really want to ramble too much here. So that was really it, guys. So we'll wrap it up here. Just like I said, wanted to do just a little quick check-in, a little trade recap, kind of wrap up the year for you guys here. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me, contact at bijantrades.com. If you want to learn how to do this stuff or want to kind of be part of our watch list or our community, whatever it is, I'll put the link to our website down below in the description as well. And that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Just have a great rest of your day, great rest of your night, great rest of your life, and I'll talk to you all soon.